Hey everybody, what's going on? Gibbo Iron for Two Tom Murphy with another Microsoft Flight Simulator Quick Fix video. I hope you're doing well. Jumping straight into today's video, I think it's fair to say for a lot of us simmers, we have a lot going on, right? <laughs> we have a lot going on outside of the sim. We've got tools, we've got utilities, we've got websites all running outside of the sim doing their thing. And if you're like me, the range of those tools is just increasing and increasing. And what that's doing is pulling us away from the sim. It's ruining the immersion, right? And that's really amplified more if you have a single monitor setup. Well, as always, I'm here with a solution. I should wear a cape, actually. It's a good idea. Um, how about you can access any app you like, any website you like, any tool you like, all within the sim. Not breaking your immersion, not taking you out of it, not needing alt tab, not needing you to divert your attention to another screen. Sound good? So the possibilities here are endless, but to give you a few use cases, let's say you want to track your moving map to track your progress and see traffic around you. Or you want to check that LRM is running and what your landing rate is. Or a calculator for those complex performance calculations. And you can see here you can fully interact with it with your mouse. Maybe you want to control the soundtrack you're flying with Spotify. Or jump into a voice room on Discord without taking your eyes off the sim. How about running Volanta? Or checking charts and having the full version of Navigraph. Or even watch your uh, favorite, yes, favorite Twitch streamer on Twitch. Hello, future people of the YouTube. Do you want the music off? This is weird. This is Murphy from the future talking to Murphy of the past. Damned well everyone else. We're currently in the future. By the time you get to watch this, we'll be in the past. Hello. Hope you're well. <laughs> Seamless that was. Did you see how ready went? <laughs> so what is it? Is it any good? How much does it cost? What about VR? <laughs> All that's coming right up. The tool here is called FS Desktop, and it's developed by the same developer who built FS Kneeboard. It's that scratch pad tool that you might be familiar with, and it's available for download from fsdesktop.com. To download, you complete your name and address, and you'll get an email pretty quickly with the download link, which allows you to test it out for free for three days. If you like it after that and want to buy it, you can choose how much you feel it deserves ranging from $15 to $50. I have to say, I kind of like this way of charging. No credit card is needed to try it out, and you've got three days to give you a good chance to make an informed decision if it's right for you. So kudos to the developer for that. Once downloaded, you have two folders, an application, which you pop somewhere on your hard drive, which contains the FS Desktop XE. I popped it into my Documents folder, and you've got the panel folder, the contents of which you pop into your community folder. That's it installed. No configuration needed. Nice. Once in the sim, you'll find FS Desktop in your in-sim browser with window picker and viewer tabs. Window picker allows you show any application that's running right in the sim with some options at the bottom to change the image quality and the refresh rate to your liking. Pretty cool. I'm loving this tool. I find it so convenient to have these applications right there in the sim. I have found one or two little things though, however. First is that no keyboard input is possible, only mouse. The second is that sometimes using your mouse, the click spot changes. You click somewhere, but your mouse actually appears to the left of it. I have found that changing the window size in the application itself can help with that. And the third is, as you may have seen, uh, video isn't great as well. Now, that one is a limitation of the sim itself, the browser version in the sim toolbar itself, I believe. But regardless, the developer has stated that he is constantly planning to update this tool further. So hopefully these things will be ironed out. So while this is very cool, for all PC simmers, I believe, I think where this tool really shines is going to be in VR. It has to be a game changer in VR. Not to be have to lift your headsets and break the immersion to be able to access something like Volanta or Spotify. Now, I don't fly in VR anymore, but I do know someone that does. Let me introduce you to Catbat9. 
Catbat is a member of the Tutor Murphy community and himself an awesome streamer on Twitch who streams MSFS. Catbat, I'd love to know your thoughts. What do you make of this tool? Is it going to be a game changer in VR? Over to you. Hey, Gibbo. Um, well, is it going to be a game changer? I think it may be. As long as I can keep... Um, the non-windowed mode preferably just because um, going into windows windowed mode i need to um, change my resolution settings by quite a bit for it to work so uh, i'll let you um, judge by yourself let's see so we go to our bar we can open this up And uh, we have the window speaker here, so we can do this. Have a look at some charts that you may have. The only thing I found is um, you can't really scroll into it, but as you have mentioned, the developer is looking into that, so. So basically, we should have a means of um, zooming into that uh, image. And the quality is, I'd say, fairly readable. But if we can zoom in a little bit further, it certainly make a difference. So, so what I would use the FS Desktop app for uh, would be primarily not for streaming, but for flying along with, uh, with you guys. So on a stream, but would be lovely to be able to see the chat. Um, yeah, and just just be able to see the chat, basically. Yeah, as you can see, the idea is um, it's really uh, a great uh, feature to have. Over to you, Gable. Thanks indeed to Catbat for sharing your thoughts. And folks, that's it. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you might please give the thumbs button a like and even consider subscribing. Don't forget, Tutor Murphy himself streams Monday, Wednesday and Friday live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Tutor Murphy at 2000 Zulu. And I'll be back again soon. Until then, take care. Hope Holland. <laughs>